Hello and welcome to the IndieMind video review for Pangolin by Development Studio Feed Tank. Pangolin is an iOS platformer built for the iPhone but works just as well on the iPad. I'm always a little bit hesitant when it comes to trying platformers on touch-based gaming platforms. A lot of the time they just don't quite work right. Sometimes controlling the game is not responsive enough or it's just plain awkward with your hands. Any skepticism I had went out the door by the time I was done playing Pangolin's three tutorial levels. Each level has the same goal. Get your little anteater creature from the start of the level to a vortex at the end. You do this by creating trampolines for the pangolin to bounce on. These are created by tapping the screen at two points, which immediately draws the trampoline between them. You can control the angle and strength of the bounce based on where you tap and the strength is dictated by how far apart you tap, with longer gaps equaling more power. It's a really simple concept, and it's also very clever, and by the time players finish the tutorial levels, they should have a pretty good grasp of it. That's not to say the game is simple, there's plenty of challenge in the later levels for the more ambitious players out there. Each level has a limit on how many bounces are allowed, and while there are usually some to spare early on, a lot of the later levels will easily chew up your bounce allotment. There's an added incentive to replay levels with the inclusion of gems and coins that add to the player's score. Pangolin includes Game Center integration for players to show off their success. The game that V-Tank developed is not only fun to play, but also pleasing to look at and listen to. I was immediately struck by the stylistic choices in both the artwork and sound design. The theme seems to veer towards an Asian feel, with campus painting style backgrounds and oriental music orchestration. Everywhere you look, there's a lot of polish in Pangolin. As I mentioned earlier, Pangolin comes with three tutorial levels as well as 10 regular levels. There's an in-app purchase available for picking up an extra pack of 40 levels, which I highly recommend. And it's fair to say that Feed Tank plans to continue supporting the game because they've already included a couple of coming soon notices for two additional level packs. There's very little I don't like in Pangolin. Once or twice the UI buttons got in the way of my tapping, but other than that it's a highly entertaining experience in both the way it plays and the way it looks and sounds. That level of refinement earned the game the highest possible score, 5 out of 5. If you'd like to find out more about Pangolin, you can find the full written review at theindiemind.com. Thanks for watching our video review of Pangolin from Indie Development Studio Feed Tank. For more indie news, reviews, and interviews, be sure to check out theindiemind.com.